There are people out there who want us to die. There are people out there who want us to die. There are people out there every single day who want us to die. To be fair, it's nothing new. In the past century or so, there's been a huge eugenics movement to try and kill off the disabled people. It started right here, right in America, when a bunch of scientists got together and said, hey, you know what would be fun? Killing all the cripples. And so they created the eugenics research labs which searched up the different genes and the different statistics and all the different scientific facts about each and every single American family so that they could decide who should breed and who should be sterilized. And then they created things like, like Action T4 which is what Hitler used to go around with the Nazis, killing half a million people with disabilities. They created asylums and they shoved us in them. And they shoved ice picks into our eyes to try and lobotomize us. And they have created Supreme Court rulings and they've created other laws and other statistics and other signs that say that the disabled should die and that it's okay. You know, there's a, um, a clinic over in Switzerland that's actually charging people $10,000 so that they can kill them because it's okay for the disabled to die. And that's legal. There are people out there who want us to die. They've wanted us to die for a really long time, and there are people who are doing everything within their power to try and get rid of us. And that's where this latest attack in Japan came from, is somebody who shares that sentiment that the disabled should die. And there will be others like him. And I don't think the eugenics movement is really going to die off, ironically. Because there are just way too many people out there who want us to die. But you know what? We're still here. We are still here. Action T4, Nazis going out, killing hundreds of thousands of people with disabilities. And don't get me wrong, it's horrible, it's tragic, but we are still here. Eugenics research centers going out trying to say which people should breed, which people should be sterilized. And we're still here. Some guy in Japan thinks that he can go around stabbing people he thinks that he needs to take it upon himself to try and rid the people of a few, uh, to, to try and rid the world of a few less cripples. But you know what? As tragic as that is, as deeply as I'm going to miss all of those people, and as sad and as angry as I am, we are still here. They shoved ice picks into our eyes. They strapped us down onto tables. And they shot us over and over and over again. They literally went to extreme lengths, doing every single thing that they possibly could to try to get rid of us. And you know what? We are still here. The disabled community is the largest minority group in the world the largest minority group in America, the largest minority group overall.
We are here. Millions of us. Billions, even. If you do the math. All of us having disabilities. All of us living alongside all those people who want us to die. Everything, everything that they've done has failed. And if you stop for a single moment and think about how amazing that is, you'll realize that no matter what they do, no matter how many people they try to get rid of, we will still be here. And if you are sitting there and you are taking in the news about Japan and you are taking in the news about other instances where they, they try to get rid of us, and if you are just completely angry and completely sad, because that's understandable. And if you're sitting there and you are losing hope, and you are wondering what the point is, just remember this. Every single breath you take defies one of those eugenicists. Every single time you enjoy the fact that you are alive, you are giving them the middle finger. Your entire existence, our entire existence, goes against everything that they are and everything that they stand for. And don't ever give them the satisfaction of believing that the world would be better off if one less disabled person lived in it. Because that's exactly what they want you to think. And it's not true. So please, remember that no matter what they've tried to do, no matter what they will do, we will still be here. And we are never going away.